Greetings YouTube. Performance reviews here. And we have a service video for you. So as always, please go to your local dealer or orc store or whoever is taking care of TTI's products. I say that because Orc currently is owned by TTI, who makes Dirt Devil, Royal, Hoover, Vax. Um, so we have here an XL21 Platinum HEPA. Now, the only thing that makes this HEPA is a HEPA bag. There is not a HEPA, separate HEPA filter in here. Um, so this is a newer XL21. Uh, this is kind of right before they started doing a rebranding of the same product. Um, so I've already washed the base plate. Um, so we're just going to do a quick service on it. You can see the belt melted in half. With Oryx, it's imperative. Every one to three months, you change the belt. Um, that's no joke. You, you do need to change the belt that often when it has a rubber belt. The newer models, they got rid of that, of course. Now one thing I did off camera is I blew all this out with compressed air and I did clean with a stone the shaft and the uh, armature um, as Orc uh, says that you should do. Now this Orc has a brush roller. Not only is there stuff melted on here, but this brush roller is white. And these were part of a microban um, brush roller system that these had real soft bristles that fell out, uh, and they were they were just not made right. So anytime you see white bristles like this on an orc, they're kind of gray now, but they originally were white. Uh, orc says that you should replace the brush roller. So that's what we're going to do. And the thing about orc brush rollers is they are made to be changed every two to four years. They are a wear item. So I have here some new orc brush rollers. And I just kind of wanted to explain the difference between orc XL21 brush rollers as well. Um, so I have here one without a metal pulley, one with a metal pulley. Now you would think, looking at this, that we're going to replace it with a plastic pulley, and that would be wrong. The plastic pulley has a magnet in it for the lifetime belt sensor. So this is a whole separate part number for a different vacuum. We're going to set it aside. So this one's going to take the metal pulley uh, brush roller, which is for the rubber belt model like this. Um, so and you can see the brushes are really spread out on this compared to this. These are really tight. Um, and when you put these this back together, you're going to notice that this is going to pull the vacuum over uh, with this aggressive brush roller. Other thing to note about Orc brush rollers is we have a normal and a special. Now, you have used a new on the other Orc brush rollers. This one you want to have normal up, which is the higher setting. Special will lower it down. Um, since this car vacuum doesn't have a carpet height adjustment, that's all you have. It's really not designed for anybody with high pile carpet. Of course I cannot do one of these videos without getting interrupted. Um, so as I was saying, uh, with Orc, we have a couple different types of brush rollers. Um, so it's important, we, because this doesn't have a height adjustment, that this is set right. Now, Orc did sell for a while this like plastic clip-on thing for high pile carpet. It never really worked. Um, Orc makes a model called the LW100 and LW1500 for people with higher pile carpet. So again, low and medium pile carpet on this guy. Um, and what's cool about the XL21 platform is this is really mechanically very, very similar and uses some of the same parts, basically the same motor as the original Orc, uh, well not the original, original Orc, but as what we call the Orc Classic, which is what most of us know as the original Orc um, in the lower models. So it, that's really kind of a cool thing in terms of engineering. Um, but it, move, it moves significantly more air, and because the brush roller is on a smaller pulley, a smaller spindle, it spins more per minute. So. We are going to just clean this out. One thing Orc used to advertise is they were the easiest vacuum to fix, and I don't know if that's necessarily true, but they're definitely on there. Definitely top 10 uh, easiest vacuums to fix. Um, again, I, I still wouldn't 
recommend you do this at home because I see too many people do it at home and then bring it to me. <laughs> um, so I'm going to change this gasket. This must always be changed every one to two years. Um, it's it's felt, it rots, it wears out. Um, and the vacuum does lose a little suction through here, but more it creates a lot of play in the fan housing. Um, and it's just more of an annoyance. Uh, where other companies would have used a gasket made out of some modern material uh, or continued to use felt. I've seen neoprene used for gaskets like that and that holds up a little bit better. Uh, not much better. Uh, polyurethane seems to be the best thing to use um, for gaskets like that, but again, there's not a polyurethane gasket for this. It wasn't part of the design. You know, this is orc we're dealing with. Uh, onboard tools is still a, mis a mystery concept to them. Um, another fun thing to note is this orc was made in the US. Uh, before they were bought out by TTI, the Chinese company who owns them, who actually made some improvements to the logistics part of Oric, um, and the dealer side definitely helped the dealers a little bit. But, um, all right, so you're just scraping away at this gasket here. You can use a heat gun. I, I was feeling lazy and didn't use it. Usually I wash this whole thing, but this one's pretty clean. Um, so we're just going to pop a new gasket on there. There we go. Now on the newer XL21s, they use a Torx 20 screws, which is kind of nice. But these old ones are still Phillips number twos. There is a specific order to how this thing goes back together. Um, you must put the bait, brush roller base plate on. And that must be attached before putting the belt on on an XL21 and warp the base. It's kind of a fun fact. Um, and most of the screws in here are the same screw. It's kind of a nice thing that they did. All right. Let's torque everything down. still has a small spot that's worn. So oh, this came from an old place I used to work. It's always weird over the years I see vacuums that came from places I used to work after I no longer work there. Sometimes you know when you work places that were you know hundreds of miles away you see them you know, 500 miles away, you see a vacuum you probably fixed. It's always kind of weird. Um, right. So, there's a new bag. Uh, you also, with an XL21, always need to use the HEPA bags. You don't want to use the paper bags because they can, as, as they get about halfway full, the paper bags can definitely uh, burst at the seams because uh, there is significantly more air going through there. Uh, not to mention that. This machine does not filter well, so you want all the filtration you can get. Okay, well back to this several hours later. Right. No wiggle. If this does wiggle, you can shim it with a, like a zip tie. But it's rarer than an XL21 is gonna wiggle. That's more of an Orc Classic issue. So I'm gonna put the cover back on. Now if this gasket here is chewed up, 
course, you're going to uh, replace it then. Put this on. This doesn't feel right, so we're going to take this back off. Looks like the bumper is not settled all the way. Amateur mistake on my part. There we go. screws we put back in. Now, for the micro sweep, I'm going to pull this off. And you notice these screws are shorter. I'm going to pull this. You know, so there's some debris under here. You know, so I washed this, but it was still almost dry. Just all that dirt stays under there. It's just kind of a hidden cavity. So this is called an ingest bar. And these wiggle around and they're loud. Um, so there's two ways you can take care of that. One is to pull the brushes off on each side of that this roller, which is something I would do if it's my vacuum, but customers don't always like that. They think that it's falling apart. So what I tend to do is the Oric solution, which is Actually bend these so that there's a bit of pressure on these and then when you put this guy back on yes you can see that the squeegee on this one is upright and the squeegee on this one is lying flat and that's just from storage that happens over time um, that these squeegees just need to be replaced Um, and I often see people just remove these two screws trying to get to everything else uh, and they don't put this back on and this this plate uh, here if you see it has a groove in it so you have to rock it back on kind of a an oddity all right got all that together now we're gonna set the work up on its side so I'm gonna show you guys quickly what we're gonna check so this one's good, because this and this uh, base plate, this is all sitting flat. If for some reason the motor's loose or it's not sitting flat, then you have a housing problem. And most of these housings had like a 10 year warranty, or some of them even had a lifetime warranty on the plastic housing. Um, just kind of a, a thing. So now we can put the belt on, because as you can see, um, about 50% of the rigidity of this machine is in the base plate. <laughs> Uh, very strange design and they you can see on the new XL21 that it is different um, thankfully though ironically almost everybody I know who's worked at an orc store it owns one of these things so we're gonna put the belt on the roller we're just gonna stretch it on we're gonna walk this on here like this so this is good we're not hitting the base plate's still rigid, so the housing is good. Last thing we're going to do is we're just going to clean off. Uh, this, so if there's any rubber, new rubber comes on here, we know right away. Put down here. Now I got one screw left. All right. So we got all that. That pretty, pretty nifty. So we changed the gasket, the belt, the brush roller, and the micro sweep all out. We're going to turn this bad boy on. And if it's working right, you'll see that this will walk away by itself. 
itself. And that, that's when the belt's good, that's what the vacuum will do. When it stops giving you that feeling, it's time to change the belt. Um, so next we're just going to do a quick cleanup um, in terms of any paint marks or anything left on this. Typically, Oryx clean up very, very well. So there's usually within, you know, a few minutes you can get one looking almost like new. Now, one thing I noticed is the side brush is loose. The side brushes don't really do anything, in my opinion. I think they're kind of more for show, but the idea that a brush like this would knock stuff out of the corner when you see see that is just kind of a little ridiculous especially when you have such big gaps here just my two cents these machines aren't known for edge cleaning and they're by design not not for that the purpose of an orc is for somebody with a disability or the elderly uh, to have a vacuum that they can use and it's easy to use and it's simple. It's not to deep clean or get in corners. Now you see here that it pulled, put a new roller on here and it just pulled my bench apart. Yeah, that's not acceptable. I'll show you how aggressive this brush roller is. done. As always, please like, subscribe, comment below. Tell me what your ARC XL21 experience is. Uh, and we're going to do a Q&A session soon here where we'll talk about other things. So comment below on ARC XL21 related items.